New information from the World Health Organization and concerns about a second virus. Kara Evans' Matthew Smith joins us for tonight's look at coronavirus fact or fiction. All right, well, let's start with the biggest discussion of the day, age and the coronavirus. Check this out. Drone images of beaches in Miami. More and more people hitting the beaches. And the reaction from students on spring break, it's pretty bold. I feel like we shouldn't like change like our lifestyles necessarily just because of like corona, especially because it hasn't been like affecting yeah. younger people. I this is fiction. New numbers coming out of the CDC show that people in their 20s, 30s, and 40s, well, they make up 20% of the worst case scenario, the people being hospitalized. And not only is this a bad look, it's dangerous for you. Here's another. A viewer asking if this is true and links to a headline, which reads, Chinese scientists say there's a second, more dangerous coronavirus strain. Here's the thing. The headline is real, but I'm going to stop short of calling this fact or fiction. What I'm hearing, maybe we're reading too much into this stuff. Take a look. A Yale epidemiologist explains it. Mutations are a natural part of the virus life cycle and rarely impacts outbreaks dramatically. In other words, the headline may seem scary. The experts, though, they're not reacting the same way we are. Next, from Linda. She's asking about staying home and safe distance. She wants to know if there's a cloud of germs just out and about while you're walking around. So, the statement, coronavirus is airborne. Fiction, according to the CDC. But let's be clear, airborne means something different to scientists than you and I. So, I'm going to need backup on this one. Matt, too, here needs to stay six feet away because while the virus isn't airborne, I can still breathe out particles that land on him that he can touch and cause to spread. By the way, this is not six feet. But we should let you know no one is banning you from walking alone. But you still shouldn't touch things, and you do need to keep that six feet of distance. And one final note, an update to a previous fact or fiction. We're talking about ibuprofen now. The internet spreading the headlines rapidly to avoid it if you have coronavirus or think you may. Well, I still can't say fact or fiction. It is worth noting. The World Health Organization has given a public update. They're not seeing any data that would suggest it's worth avoiding ibuprofen. But again, this is all new and things change quickly. Matthew Smith, Cairo 7 News. All good information there from Matthew. Now, if you have coronavirus-related questions, remember a Washington call center is ready to help. Call the number on your screen there, 1-800-525-0127.